Good morning, children. Welcome to class five, Bridge Cross, subject computer. So today's topic we are going to see about memory storage, children. So last class also we saw. So again I am going to revise it for you. So you could have observed, children, we have your parents talking. Uh, I have a four GB RAM. I have a sixty four GB memory storage. Like that, uh, you could have listened to your parents talking. So whatever. Computer, it needs memory chip to store that whatever work we are doing or instruction we are giving you for that. The computer needs memory. See uh, what you do when my teacher gives uh, notes means you write in your notebook entry and you read, read it, revise it and keep it in your memory. Yes, like that, the computer also needs a memory storage. Higher memory means uh, your system also will be fast and you can store more things, children, in the computer. So mainly, first uh, our uh, instructions given like number zero or the letter A means it will be stored in the form of zeros or ones, children. As computer is a machine. It will not understand what we are uh, talking, but some things are that we will do. But as it is a machine, it has to be uh, known uh, by the machine language. So in computer, it is zeros or ones, children. So these zeros and ones uh, added together or allotted as some space or a memory, so that our instructions are taken and stored over there. So first we will see what is bits. Bits is a binary digit. So one bit is equal to zero or one. Then one nibble is equal to four bits. See one bit is zero or one. Then one nibble is equal to four bits. It can be anything, children. Zero one one zero one 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 zero like this. If this is called as nibbles. Okay, four bits are there. one, two, three, four bits are there. The next one, eight bits. So one uh, byte is equal to eight bits. That means, see, one, one letter. If you take a letter, uh, one letter, it will be represented in the eight bits. So one zero one zero 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 one. So count it three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like this, it will be. Understood by the computer machine children. So one byte is equal to eight bits. The next one, this uh, bits we are counting. So one byte is there. So like uh, thousand twenty four bytes. Thousand twenty four bytes is called as one kilobyte. We know. Thousand grams is one kilogram. Thousand meter is one uh, uh, kilometer. Like the thousand twenty four bytes is called as one kilobyte. Short form KB children. Okay, one kilobyte. Then you come over to megabyte. See kilobyte. Thousand twenty four kilobyte. Thousand twenty four kilobyte is called as one megabyte. Okay, thousand twenty four KB is known as one megabyte. Then this another uh, next level, thousand twenty four MB is known as one gigabyte. So this is only short form GB. So you would have observed with your parents how much uh, GB the memory storage is there. Sixty-four GB, thirty-two GB, one twenty-eight GB. Okay, like that. So one gigabyte. The short form is GB. It is equal to thousand twenty-four MB. The next one, thousand twenty-four GB. See, it has come over here. Thousand twenty-four, not one GB children. Like that, thousand twenty-four GB is one terabyte. Nowadays, in latest 
mobiles and computers you get a memory storage of 1 terabyte okay 1 terabyte short form is tb okay so starting from the lower level it comes to the higher level actually. okay let us see so 1 bit is equal to 0 or 1 1 nibble is equal to 4 bits and 1 byte is equal to 8 bits 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kb 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 mb 1 terabyte is equal to 1024 gb okay children so in your textbook also it is there you can take and read memorize